Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Psychic Sounds by B, and I am B. <laughs> Guys, I'm like, I'm going marathon with these, okay? So just bear with me, all right? This is for Sagittarian sun, moon, rising. Also, if you're a Sagittarian Venus or Mars, this might be a good reading for you to listen to for your love life. All right, guys, uh, announcement. I am going to be releasing my Wine and Chi with Bee Leadership Series, and this will be on Gumroad. And I will post a separate YouTube video uh, to be able to uh, offer those to you. Uh, I believe I'm going to do that by donation, so I don't know yet. Just bear with me on that. So um, we'll see how that goes, and it's going to be pretty interactive. Um, it's not going to be live, but it will be interactive, and I will bring that up to you in uh, my YouTube uh, video, which basically pulls out all of the details of what this service offering is, and if you're interested in, in it, uh, then we can just move forward together. All right. Uh, the other thing I have decided to do, I am going to be providing free extended readings for the birthday signs. Okay, so this month I provided a free extended reading for the Pisces. And when it becomes your birthday in December or slightly before December, I will provide a free birthday reading for you. It is a way that I just give you a birthday gift. Okay, so that's just the way I want to do it. All right. Uh, also, if you would like to purchase the extended reading for this month, you can go to Gumroad, and I will put the link below. All right. Okay, guys, uh, let's get started, Sages. The sun is in your fourth house of home, family, um, your physical domicile, and there could be a lot of illumination about this particular area of your life. Not only is it being illuminated for you, uh, it is being illuminated uh, for others uh, as it relates to you. So make sure you put your best foot forward in this particular area of your life. This could deal with ancestry, family, home, physical domicile, your physical body. So just be aware of that. Then on the 26th of February, we have Mercury going into Pisces. And um, the 26th is tomorrow because I'm recording this on the 25th. So when we have um, Mercury going into Pisces in your fourth house of home, family, and your physical domicile and and your ancestry and all of that and um, there is communication about this and it might be communication with a pisces regarding home for whatever reason and then after the 26th going into the 14th of march it is in pisces and then it goes into aries and then for you this is going to be in your fifth house of children creativity romance, risk-taking, potentially for some of you, pets, okay? So there's a lot of communication regarding these particular areas of your life, and it might have something to do with a Piscean or an Aries person as well. So then on the 10th of March, we have Mars moving into Taurus, and for you, this is going into your sixth house of workaday duties, um, your um, health, your reputation in the world, there is aggression and there is passion regarding these particular areas of your life. And after the 10th, you are hopefully going to be passionate and not overly aggressive at work as it relates to your reputation or as it relates to your health or anything like that. You, when you've got Mars in your sixth house of health, you want to make sure when you work out that you don't overextend yourself. All right. Venus is retrograde on March 5th and she's going retrograde in your fifth house of love, children, creativity, romance. There could be a revisiting or a reevaluation of a relationship in this particular area of your life or of your value within a relationship in this particular area of your life, a reevaluation of your uh, fatherhood, a reevaluation of your, you know, your significant other, your relationship with one another. There's a reevaluation here. And then uh, at the end of March, Venus actually retrogrades back into Pisces. So there could be an Aries-Pisces energy as it relates to love, harmony, um, abundance, small financial gain, okay, in these particular areas of your life. And it's something that you're re-evaluating with this person. They may be Pisces, they may be Aries, they could really be any sign. But overall, these are the types of energies that are around you in areas that need to be re-evaluated. The total solar eclipse 
is in Pisces on the 26th of February. This is happening tomorrow, and this is in your fourth house of home and family. There is something ending so something new can begin. So what I am sensing here for some of you uh, Sages out there, you are selling a home and you're buying a home. You are leaving a relationship and you're starting a new relationship. Uh, you may have been taking care of somebody else's child and now you're saying, you know what, this doesn't work for me and I will always be there for that child, but my legal responsibility to that child is done and I am going to embark on a relationship with another person. Um, they may have children, they may not have children, but the thing is, is you're, you're severing something so that you can begin something new as it relates to your home life, your family life, you know, your physical body, okay? The new moon is on the 27th of March in Aries, and for you this is in your fifth house of romance, children, and creativity. So there is, um, set your new moon intentions for what you want in these Aries, not for what you don't want. It might have something to do with Aries types of energies as well, or an Aries person. And uh, for some of you, uh, you will want to go ahead and set your new moon intentions as well for the uh, total solar new moon eclipse in Pisces tomorrow uh, on the 26th of February as it relates to your fourth house endeavors. The full moon is in Virgo on the 12th, and for you this is in your 10th house of uh, status and career. So with, is that right? Sages. Yes, that is correct, in your 10th house of status and career. And so um, this could have something to do with a Virgo person. There is a culmination climax or an ending as it relates to these particular areas of your life. So be aware of that. All right, my beautiful Sages, let's go ahead and take a look at what your energies are for March of 2017. What are the general energies for Sagas? Here's your general energies. What are the work and finance energies for Sagas? Work and finance. Wow, there's your work and finance. What is your emotional life and love life like, Sagas? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life for Sagas. Emotional life and love life. There's your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your general health, Sagas? General health. There's your general health. And what do we have going on for your energy oracle card? It's already there. There it is. Okay, guys, what's going on for the general energies for Sages for March of 2017? Wow, the general energies for you, Sages, are the King of Cups. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. It could be a masculine female or a male. Uh, this is generally somebody who's very in charge of their emotions. They do not go back and forth. They've learned, they've mastered their emotions. For some of you Sages out there, this could be somebody that owns their own business as well. They could be in a creative field. It could be psychic. It could be intuitive. It could be Reiki. It could be holistic medicine. Uh, it may even be something by water. So it could be like, you might be dating somebody that works at SeaWorld or you might be, you know, it could be. Um, could be somebody who is a sailor or who works on a cruise ship or is a captain of a cruise ship or um, I just heard the love boat. I don't know what that means for some of you Sages, but there's love boat energy here. Um, for others of you Sages, uh, this could be uh, somebody that works like maybe they're a lifeguard or, you know, uh, maybe you meet them on a beach or whatever. But overall, there is um, there's definitely some good positive energies coming from this person. And they're pretty significant as it relates to the month of March. Um, this is not surprising because March is the Piscean month. So Pisces are going to be in the spotlight. So please just be aware of that, Sages. This could also be a creative endeavor for you. Um, this is, could also be you kind of getting a rein on your emotions as it relates to this person in your life. Um, you might own your own business, definitely. Um, this, uh, I, I'm definitely sensing Pisces just because he's got the fish around his neck. Okay. So that might be where the boat came in. It could be a fishing boat for some reason. Um, or, you know, there's water everywhere in March for you. For some reason, you're 
seeing pictures of water, you're by the water, uh, you know, you're traveling to water, somebody you love is at water. I mean, they're at a lot of water, like a beach or an ocean or something like that. So that could be what's going on for some of you Sages. So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? I just heard some of you Sages are buying uh, a pool or you're buying a home with a pool in it. Okay, so that could be what's going on for some of you Sages. Here we have the Seven of Pentacles. And Sages, as it relates to work and finance, you are investing in something. You are investing wisely into something. This could be investing in an idea. This could be trying to get somebody to invest in an idea that you came up with. Uh, this could be being of two minds about something. Do I do this? Do I do that with fi my finances? Do I go to this job? Do I go to that job? I'm sensing for some of you, you might get a job offer that is near water, okay? Um, I'm trying to see if I'm picking up anything else here. There is a lot of turmoil for some reason in your life, Sagittarius, and you're trying to keep everything afloat. You're trying to keep, you know, your your senses about you, okay? You may find out that somebody you love, somebody you care for is psychic, okay, for some of you. Um, and you may find out that they own their own business. That could be what's going on here. You know, and they don't have to be psychic. They could be a healer. They could be, um, like I said, they could work with water or, or something like that. And it's a business, business that you didn't know that they had their own business. That could be. And basically what's happening here is like you're looking at it going, okay, wait a minute, you're, you own your own business, you know? Oh, and you work full time, you know? So there, you're, you're like looking at this going, this person is really put together, all right? This person is doing all these things in a seamlessly effortless way, okay? So that could be what's going on for some of you Sages, but overall, you're investing your money, you're waiting for your return on investment, you're waiting for a response for something at work as well. For some of you, you're waiting to see if you got the job. Um, but overall, your finances are looking good. They are looking stable. And you're wondering, do I need to invest in something else? Okay, that could be. And some of you might be considering, I've invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into this job. And there's so much turmoil. There's so much chaos. I'm wondering if I just need to pull the plug and get the heck out of Dodge. So that could be what is going on for some of you Sagittarians out there. It could even be a project. It doesn't necessarily have to be the job in its entirety, but it could be a project. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on for your emotional life and love life. For your emotional life and love life, Sagittarius, you do have the Queen of Cups. Sagittarius, you, you've got water. <laughs> wow. So you have a Queen of of cups, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, again, I'm now sensing a lot of Pisces, um, definitely Scorpio, and maybe a little bit of Cancer that's going on here. So this could be, also, I just heard that some of you are researching Cancer. Maybe for work. You could be investing in a new Cancer treatment because when I see this guys I see these seven pentacles and when you look at these pentacles like when a pathologist looks at a slide a peripheral slide to see whether or not there are cells in there that are malignant um, that's coming up um, and you could be investing in a new research, a new, I'm not saying you guys have cancer and I'm not saying anybody you love has cancer. I'm not really picking that up. Maybe for a very, very small percentage of you. But for others of you, it's, it's more of you're interested in cancer research. So you might be donating money to cancer research. That could be what's going on because you may have had a loved one that passed because of cancer. Um, so for others of you out there, you're, you are in love. I mean, you are in love with a Pisces or a Scorpio person. And for some of you, uh, to a lesser degree, a Cancer person. But um, definitely coming through here. 
and they really care about you as well. It, it does look like, you know, you both have invested a lot of time and effort into this relationship. And, you know, there might be a lot of chaos and turmoil, and it might be a situation that's really not the best situation to be in, but you really care for one another. And this person might be a little bit distant. They might not be sharing their feelings with you, especially when it's paired with the King of Cups. They might be just a little bit um, aloof or mysterious. But what I'm sensing from this is that kind of turns you guys on. <laughs> so, okay. So, and then this also goes back to either you or they or both of you are going on a trip near water. Um, really beautiful overall. This person is loving, kind, giving, nurturing. Uh, they are the epitome of psychic ability. So what I was picking up with the psychic ability in the King of Cups is being reinforced by the Queen of Cups. And for some of you, you already think that you're a couple. Even though you may not actually be together, because what I'm seeing here, I've got the Queen of Cups. Let me show you. The Queen of Cups is looking at the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups is looking at the Seven of Pentacles. So what I'm sensing here is... This might be a relationship at work and you can't be with one another as openly as you want to because you both work together. That could be for some of you Sages, but let's just continue. What is going on with your general health, Sages? Wow, Sages, with your general health, you have the 10 of pentacles. Interesting, Pisces got this in the exact same position. So I am definitely sensing a Pisces here for you guys. Pisces, the top, then Scorpio, and then Cancer, okay? But this is all about legacy. You are trying to create a legacy. You are trying to, I, I keep getting these um, songs that are popping in. I am just, I'm getting downloads like crazy. Um, this one is, um, if I could change the world, um, I think that's by a guitar player. It's hard for me to get analytical information when I'm doing readings because um, I don't want to access that part of my mind. So um, if I could change the world. It's whoever wants to put that down um, below who sings that, you, you can do that. Um, but I'm definitely sensing that you, you want to change the world. Okay, for some of you Sages out there, you are really wanting to make a difference in people's lives, in, their, in the family life, in the home life. Your health has everything to do with a happy family life. Your health is being affected by your family for whatever reason. Um, you want to create a legacy. If it's not you wanting to change the world, you wanting to change somebody else's world. It's almost like you want to live with this person you want to move in with this person. They may want to move in with you. You're considering whether or not you want to move in or buy a home for this person. Definitely. For some of you, you are investing in health. You are investing in health research. You are investing in your own health. Um, this is... This is big time abundance. I mean, this is generations. That's what it is. Genetics. You're investing in genetics. Um, you could work in genetics because when you've got all the family here and health, okay, it means that you're focused on your family's health or the health is due to family. So genetics, okay, but you might have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio people working with you to create a legacy as it relates to genetic health or genetic uh, work of some sort. Wow. And that could be that cancer research, definitely. Um, because this goes through generations and generations and generations. So hereditary uh, conditions is what I'm getting. So what do we have going on here as it relates to your energy oracle card? Your energy oracle card is Angel of Balance. So this is what I was picking up earlier. This is not your typical Pisces. This is a Pisces who's been through the ringer. 
okay? They've let their emotions show and it only ever created turmoil and chaos in their life and they don't want to be around that anymore. So see how this guy's got an open cup here? Even though he's completely silent, he's got that open cup. But here, her cup is closed and she's just looking at it. So what I'm sensing here for those of you seeing a water sign, Pisces, like I said, could be a Scorpio, could be Cancer, but I'm picking up Pisces more. Um, this is somebody who has learned how to balance their emotions. That's what I'm picking up, Sages. And you may have learned how to balance your emotions as well. You could have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your natal chart, and it could have some significance for you in that way. All right, Sages, I hope that you like this reading. Uh, please join me on Gumroad for your extended reading. I certainly do appreciate your support. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.